Hey guys, Josh here again, and today I will be showing you a no tie method for single tubes. Now, the first person I saw do this was Metrograde. He said um, there were other people that did it before him, but uh, since I don't know who those were, I'm going to give him the credit for this. I saw his tutorial video uh, making these a little while back, and I want to do my own. So all the credit goes to him for this video. Uh, I will have links on the screen and in the description uh, to his tutorial on this and to his channel. Go check him out. He is a fantastic guy and he does great videos. So I'd highly recommend uh, you guys checking out and subscribing to his channel. So onto the video. You will need a pouch, some single tubes, and if they're not cut already, you'll need a pair of scissors. So if you buy these single Chinese tubes from simpleshot.com, uh, it'll come in a little roll, depending on how many feet you get of it. So I would recommend just laying it out on a ruler to the length you want, then cutting it with the scissors, and then using the tube you already cut to measure the second tube. And if you do that, you'll get two tubes that are almost identical in length. Now these are kind of old um, because I ran out of new tubing, but uh, I think it'll still be good to show you with. So this is all you're going to need for this. It's really quick, really cool, and I haven't done extensive testing on it yet, but it seems to work fairly well. Um, I'll have to do some longevity testing and uh, tell you guys what I find. One thing though is that you need a fairly stiff pouch for this, um, just because it's this is a knot, um, and it holds it by friction, and if you use a really thin, soft pouch, it'll probably roll up on you. So I'm using this double layer super sure pouch and I found this works the best out of all the pouches I have. The single layers just don't work very well. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna loop the tube just like this and you're gonna stick that loop through the hole in the top of the pouch. So this shiny part is generally at the top. The text is on the um, bottom. So you'll put this through the top, just like that, so you have this loop. Then you're going to put both ends through the loop, just like this. And I've heard this is called a cow hitch, but uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's what I've heard it called though. So now you're just going to slowly tighten it. And this is the hardest part, getting it straight and nice. Um, so what I would recommend here is to cut um, your tubing a bit too long so you can cut off this tail. That makes it a lot easier to tie. So just jimmy it here until you get it nice and tight. So there we go. I got it as tight as it's going to get. And now we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. Now I'm not quite sure. Um, if the direction of the tails matter. So I'm just going to do it, have the tails facing the same way and hope that that works well. And at the end of this video, I'll do a quick test of them just to show you that they work. So we're gonna do the same thing, create a loop, stick it through the top hole of the pouch, and then slip both ends through that loop and pull it through. And pull it tight. And again, spend a little bit of time jimming it until it's nice and tight. There we go. So once you get that, you basically have a completed tube set. The only thing is that, as you can see here, I did it a bit unevenly. So I have some extra or my tubes aren't the same length anymore. And this is why I recommend cutting your tubes long because you're gonna to have to cut off some excess. So I'll start by lining this up and cutting off the excess on the end here. And then we'll cut off the excess here. And there 
there you go. You now have a completed tube set ready to be installed on a slingshot of your choice. Okay, I took the liberty of installing them on my PVC Mini Hunter with uh, my homemade flip clips just for convenience because it's so quick. And now we're ready to go test them out. Okay guys, so now we're just going to give it a little shooting test. Uh, be shooting some half inch marbles with it. Uh, just over uh, there at a little duct tape target. And uh, we'll see how it does. I gotta admit, I shot a few off camera uh, just to warm up a bit. And it actually broke almost like right away. It didn't break, it just slipped out of the knot. But I think now it's just because I didn't pull it tight enough. I, I didn't yank on it, so when it was subject to the forces of actual shooting, it uh, pulled out. So as long as you're careful and you make sure it's nice and tight and you check it every once in a while, uh, you should be fine. But all in all, it seems to be working really well for me. And uh, see how it shoots. So all in all, I'm quite impressed with these. They uh, require a bit more maintenance than normal bands to keep them tight and everything. But uh, for the tiny amount of time that it takes to make them, uh, I think it could be worth it. Um, they seem quite consistent. I got a couple of erratic shots. Don't know if it's because of the bands or if it's because just of me, because I haven't shot the slingshot in forever. I don't know. But uh, if you guys try these, please leave me a comment. I'll be very interested to see what you guys think of them. If you haven't already, please subscribe. If you enjoyed, please leave a like or a comment. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you next Tuesday. Bye.